The Israeli army has been accused of using Palestinians as human shields during an operation in the West Bank. Pictures have emerged which appear to show one man being forced to accompany soldiers entering houses. The Israeli army says it's investigating. Our Middle East correspondent Matthew Price reports. This was Nablus last week. Israel's army came to arrest men they accuse of plotting attacks against Israel. We filmed as the soldiers moved through the old city, but now details are emerging of what else was going on. Look at the man in the black top in this rare footage filmed by a news agency. He's a Palestinian civilian. The soldiers push him ahead of them as they search homes. An Israeli human rights group says he is being used as a human shield. We went to see the man, Sameh Omira, and retraced his steps from that day. He told me he was afraid. He said the soldiers had fired some bullets as they entered the bedroom. It's highly unusual for television cameras to capture such an event. The Israeli army says it doesn't allow its soldiers to use civilians during military operations. And yet Palestinians here in Nablus and indeed across the occupied territories will tell you it is a widespread practice. Oh. Jihan Dadouche says she was also forced to lead soldiers through the old city during last week's operation. She is 11 years old. They had their weapons pointed at me, she said. I was so afraid that the soldiers might do what they threatened, take me to jail or shoot me. It is illegal for soldiers to use human shields under international law. But Palestinian civilians are still apparently being used during military operations. The army says it is investigating these latest cases.